Hello, this is Tigre from Tigre and Jax, and today I have for you a set review of the Imperial Troop Transport. This is set 75078. It has 141 pieces officially, with extras included for your convenience. And um, its age range is anywhere from age 6 to age 12. So, without further ado, let's start looking at this set itself. So first up, we have the box. The I'm going to move these guys out of the picture. This box is a um, nice design. It's sh in the beginning. It shows um, some stormtroopers getting out of the Imperial craft and then firing their little their little stud shooters right there. Um, on the side, you can see it has a two scale, two inch minifigure. Um, picture on there of a stormtrooper and you get four of those included in this set on this side it has some different languages and there's also a mini picture of the front side of the box and on the back you can see that it does show you several of this ship's unique features such as the um, rotating flick fire missile cannon um, the little ammo storage cart right there and then also, of course, the flaps that allow the troopers to get out. So, before we look at the set itself, let's look at some of the minifigures. So in the set, you get four stormtroopers. This is a very nice army building set because it not only comes with a um, craft that you can transport your troopers in, it comes with four of the same types of troops. So this is actually um, one of my favorite sets in the 2015 Battle Pack Wave because of this. <clears throat> um, they are, each of them are the same, you, you can see that they have the same printing all over. So, um, also, their little blasters are from the 24, were introduced in 2014, and they choir, and they fire decently, um, all you have to do is press this little switch and the little stud will blast out. Uh-oh. Okay. And they do include lots of extras because these things are quite easy to lose. The Stormtrooper itself is an entirely new design um, from the old ones. Stormtroopers like this have also been included in the, um, the Ghost. And I believe one might have been included in the Phantom, although I could be wrong. On the back, you can see that it actually looks quite a bit like a clone on the back printing. The back of the legs has no printing, as always. The back of the head is um, the same mold that they used for the original Stormtroopers, just with um, some new designs, I think. I'm pretty sure it's not a new piece. No printing on the arms or the sides of the legs. And on the... And on the front, you can see, once again, the torso looks a lot like clown troopers. And then on the legs, you can see that there is one um, knee guard and maybe an ammo pack strap. You can see that also they have these little vent vents to allow them to breathe. And then um, their basic stormtrooper scary-ish look. So if you take the helmet off, you can see that they have either regular face, um, the clone faces that were introduced in 2014, or they might have this new 2015 face. It's kind of calm. <clears throat> More calm and less angry. Setting. So, let's move on to the set itself. The set itself is, um, quite, um... Large, actually. It's surprisingly large for a $13 set that also has four minifigures in it. From the front, you can see that there's um, these two little cannons, blaster cannon guns. And then there's um, something kind of like a cockpit, I guess, to micro scale. Not sure what that's supposed to be. On the sides, these two little flaps lift down or um, go down so that you can slide out this ammo rack which holds four little um, extra ammunitions for the stormtroopers 
you can slide that back in really easily. And also you can see that um, stormtroopers fit very well, nicely in here. In addition to this, there is a reason for these little um, open studs right there. Open studs. You can see that these little blasters will fit right into them. And then you can put the stormtrooper in too. So, on the top you can see that there's some, oops, whoops, I'm going to take this out. You can lift these flaps back up. In the back it is um, some nice slope pieces. And then you have this rotating flick fire missile um, cannon turret. These flick fires fire normally, just like in any other flick fire missile. They don't fire as well as the new spring-loaded ones, but then again, these do not take out eyes. So overall, this is a very nice little set, and um, I would heavily recommend it to anyone who would want to um, be building a stormtrooper, some stormtroopers, into an army. This, once again, this is set 75078. And it is the Imperial Troop Transport. It is $13. And it is the first in the 2015 wave sets. Thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe. And also check out our brother channel, Jack's Bricks.